ever since I was young They said I won't be nothing Now they always say congratulations Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation They ain't never had the dedication Yo, what's good, YouTube? Easy Breezy here, and I'm back with another video. And today, I actually want to talk about the Mountain Dew Tournament and how I won it twice already and will I go for it a third time. And I just want to tell you guys, like, how I won it because a lot of you guys have been asking for that. You guys asked it actually, like, a long time ago. Like, back when I won it the first time, you guys asked me to make a video about it. But, um, I don't know. I, I just waited a long time now. I um, just decided to let you guys know. Now, I'm pretty sure there'll be a Mountain Dew tournament coming up. And a lot of you guys might want to win it. I might do it as well. But the number one thing you need to win the Mountain Dew tournament is people to play. So it's very, very easy to win it when you're running with a YouTuber. And it's hard at the same time because people will be pulling up on you. Things like that. A lot of cloud chasers and stuff. They'll be pulling up on you, trying to beat you, just so you don't win. Like, they're not even trying to win. They just want to beat you, just so you can't win. You know what I mean? So, it's easy and hard at the same time. So, if you're a good player, and you, and you like, really want to win the Mountain Dew Tournament, I recommend play with somebody who streams a lot. Like... I don't know, just a YouTuber that streams a lot, or not even just a Twitch streamer, and um, they gets a lot of games. All you need is back-to-back -back games, and for the archetypes that you want to use, um, basically you just want to use either a sharpshooter or um, like a shot creator, something like that that can make clutch shots when you need them. So you need to be able to make threes definitely. And in the gameplay, like I sped up this whole part because like I made it was a crazy comeback. That we made um me and my boy true actually he's a too easy member he finally got a ps4 a lot of the too easy members are getting ps4 so i'm gonna start doing tryouts here soon but yeah i sped it up because they like literally blew us out it went all the way to 19 then we came all the way back so i just sped up the part where they were, they kept scoring on us it was all the way up to 19 and then we made the uh, bro we just made a crazy comeback so back to what i was saying um, you want to use a good archetype that can shoot threes, but with me, I'm, I'm such a god, bro. That I I ran with two, like we were with two playmakers and a glass cleaner. So um, you already know I had all my hot spots, so I was carrying the team. But the main thing is, like, you really do need somebody who can shoot. Like, you you can't win the Mountain Dew tournament taking twos the whole tournament. It's just not gonna work. And also. You want to run with somebody who doesn't like sell out like you got to make sure they're not going to sell you out because if somebody sells me out in the tournament I will be super mad and another thing you want to do to win the Mountain Dew tournament you want to apply boost to everything I'd say like 30 to like 30 to 35 game boost it depends on what console you're on if you're on Xbox put on about a 20 30 game boost and if you're on ps4 put, put on a 35 game boost because there, there are more people on the ps4 so you're gonna get more games so i see about a 35 boost on on um, ps4 and probably 30 boosts on um on everything or at least the things that matter like three-point shooting mid-range shooting you just want to boost up all all of that so you um can guarantee the win you feel me because if you're gonna like it's literally an investment it's a good investment if you spend that money and then you win the actual tournament like you're, you're gucci but if you spend it and you lose like that it's down bad you know what i mean but before each tournament i put on 30 game boosts on xbox and on ps4 and guess what it paid off it, like i could have gambled it and just like lost all that vc you know what i mean but i made sure that um we won the tournament we got our unlimited boost so we so i spent about like i don't know fifteen thousand vc on straight boost to win unlimited boost so basically i spent fifteen thousand vc for um for unlimited boost which is good if you, if you know if you have confidence in yourself that you can win like um i recommend boost all your attributes so that was another thing I just wanted to say. And I'm, I'm running down everything, bro. I'm telling y'all what you have to do. Number one, you have to have games. Number two, you have to have the right archetypes that you're running with. Do not run with, uh, I don't even know. Do not run with, wait, what's, a, what's a really bad? Lockdown Defender might be good. I don't know if that will work out. Lockdown Defender and Sharpshooter, I don't know. But do not run with something like 
A sla don't run with the slasher. No, 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 no. You do not want to run with the slasher, bro. That that will not work out. Trust me. And the last thing is boost your attributes. That's what um I recommend you guys do. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I wanted to help you guys out the most. Like I I'm being dead serious. Nobody else like on YouTube will tell you everything I just told you. They I mean nobody else in the 2K community would cuz that's like low key how you win. There's there's nothing else you have to do. Just good teammates, right archetypes, get back to back games and yeah that's really it but hopefully you guys did enjoy drop a like if you did subscribe for more great quality content can we get 600 likes on this video thanks for watching and i'm out